Oh, tell me how you feel, chilling with the big dog, giving you the real deal. No lies or gimmicks, keep it authentic. It's time to turn up, yeah, it's time to get it. Hey. What's up, guys? What is up? This is Big Dog in the House once again with another podcast. Let's give, give and thank the Lord that we are alive to live another day because tomorrow is never promised. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right to it. Today's podcast is forgiveness. All right. I know what much, most of you are thinking. You guys are thinking that the best thing in the world is to forgive and forget. <clears throat> Wrong. No. One, forgiveness is very hard to do to somebody, especially when you're upset. Forgiveness is the most difficult thing that you can do or give to someone when they have done or destroyed everything you have created, destroyed your life, whatever the case may be. The majority of you out there will say, fuck that shit. The majority of you out there will say, hell no, I'll never forgive that person. You know what's sad about that? It's not about forgiving the person. It's about forgiving yourself. Yes, a person can and will do, destroy everything you have ever created, if they can, if you allow them to. Now, forgiving someone is forgiving yourself because the evil that a person brings, the evil that a person does, only makes you better, only makes you stronger. Forgiving them is never forgetting what they have done. You may or may not let them be in your life. You may or may not let them be in your circle. But you can forgive the person for all they have done wrong. No matter what they do. The person who has to live with that for the rest of their lives is themselves, not you. You forgave them once again for yourself because that is exactly what the Lord would do. The problem is, is the majority of you out there always say, I will never forgive that person because they have destroyed what I have created. They have destroyed my life. Whatever the circumstance is, you won't forgive them. I do. I always forgive everyone. I will never hang out with them again. I will never be around them. I will forgive and move on. I will never forget what they've done. But the thing is, don't be like the rest of the world. Show not only the world, but yourself that you are forgiving, loving, all of those things. Because at night when you put your head down on that pillow and you go to sleep, you know that deep down inside, you did a good deed. You did something good for yourself that you are different than everyone else. The majority of the people out there that say they believe in a higher power, that say they believe in the man of stairs, that say that they will do all the things that they say they're going to do, they don't. The moment that you haven't forgave that person for what they have done, you automatically throw all that shit out the window about believing in the man of stairs. No matter what we have done to him, whatever bad, evil, he always forgives us. He forgives everyone. Something that we forget. Another thing that you forget is you forget to thank him just for being alive. You just wake up and it is what it is. I understand that forgiveness is hard. I know it takes time. Months, years whatever the case may be. But as long as you can be good with yourself, that is the most important thing. Waking up every day and saying, you know what? I'm not going to be like that other person. Let that person be miserable. The thing is, we always ask ourselves questions as why. Why do people want to destroy what we have? Guys, it's been going on forever, for ages. Envy, jealousy, all that stuff has been going on forever. It will never change. It will never fail. It's just like when somebody throws their input. There's always someone out there that tells you what you should and shouldn't do, 
how you should do it. Haven't you ever seen that the people who always are opinionated or that have an opinion about something are the ones who have nothing? Think about it, guys. It's always a person that when you have a business, you don't see other business owners telling you anything. They look at you and they're like, that's how I started. That's what I did. Same thing. Someone is always going to throw their opinion out there. Some opinions might be good. They're just, uh, you know, giving you some ideas. But when you hear that they're repetitively giving and throwing out opinions that don't mean shit, you guys have to learn how to just, mm -hmm, just nod your head. They'll come back again and they'll repeat themselves. And what they're doing is they're stirring up the pot. They want to make you blow up. They want to get you angry, frustrated. They want to be heard. They want attention. They want what you have. You know what my opinion is? My opinion to that person or to those people who have opinions or are, if you are opinionated and you want us to do what you think is right, then you should go out and do it yourself. You should go out and build a gym and you can run it how you want. Tell people how you feel, your rules, the music you want to play, how you want things run, and see how far that goes. If you think it's going to go far, go for it. But after a certain age, it doesn't matter, young or old, the young don't know any better. The old do. They want to be heard. They want you to do what they say. Don't get upset, guys. Look at yourself. If you've been around and you've been doing it for a very long time and you've been doing it for years and you've been successful that way, stick to it. There's some things out there. There's some people out there that give phenomenal opinions, ideas, and little hints, clues, and things like that, and you go ahead and you do them. You fix things. Take care of stuff. And some stuff is just, it's a, uh, how do you say, it's, uh, it's not a mind game. It's a power, you know, they feel entitlement. Like, I'm here, I've known you for this long, and we should do this, and no. You should never do what someone else hasn't done with you from the beginning. They didn't create it with you, they didn't build it with you, they didn't start from the bottom with you, none of that stuff. Only listen to the opinions of the people who started it with you, like your wife, husband, brother, sister, mother, best friend, etc., and in order to give an opinion, they have to have done something with you. Wake up in the morning like my boy Andy does. Fix this, fix that, fix the machines, come paint, come do this, come do that. And even then, he doesn't give opinions like that. He helps because he wants to. He's not looking for anything. You know, someone will tell you, hey, let's do this or let's do that. And they don't show up. Or let's do this and let's do that, expecting something in return. When you do something for someone, there is nothing in return but friendship. There is nothing in return but getting it done. Really being there. You know? That goes for all of us. But always remember, if you're going to forgive someone, do it for yourself. Don't do it for them. We make mistakes. People try and try and try, no matter how long it takes, years, whatever, until you blow up because you're tired of it. Always remember, whatever business that it is being run, whatever it is business that you have, you do what you want, when you want, how you want. Never let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't ever let nobody tell you what you should or shouldn't do. Don't ever let somebody tell you, you have to do this, you have to do that. You don't got to do a goddamn thing that anybody tells you. You've invested your money into what you want. You do what you want, when you want, how you want. Never listen to anyone. I'm telling you guys, don't ever listen to someone who wants to tell you what you should or shouldn't do because they'll drive you into the ground. There's a lot of evil people out there. A lot of envious people out there. A lot of jealous people out there. And all they want to do is see your downfall. No matter what they tell you. No matter how much they say, I this, I love you, I this, bull fucking shit. Keep your mouth closed. If they love you so much, keep your fucking mouth closed. 
If they respect you, don't talk back. So many different things. And you never have to take anything from anyone. Especially when you created it by yourself. Nobody did this shit for you. Nobody did this shit for me. The only person that I know that did this shit with me, they're not around anymore. But I won't forget that they helped me. I know who did. Even when I first started this gym, I know he's going to listen to this. My friend Gus, he fucking went ahead, good and bad, went ahead and helped me do this shit. After I got it going, he did his thing. Went ahead, shook hands like a man. He went his way. I did everything. It began with him, me, and my wife. And obviously my wife is still there to the very end. My friend went ahead and saw, that's it. I got you where you needed to go. I was there for you. Now I move on. Came along another friend and other people in my life that helped along the way. And they're not around anymore. They're doing their thing with their families, but they were there. I know who was there. I know who helped me when I needed the help. And I recognize who's who. And I know who built this with me. I know who started this with me. You know what I mean? When it was zero, an empty, broken down warehouse. And we turned this bitch into something beautiful. The rest of the people, especially the opinionated ones, didn't do a goddamn thing. And I know because the ones that aren't here, they're not here. They're, they have their own lives. They have their own businesses. They're doing their own thing. You see? But I know who did what. And now the new ones that have come into my life, well, one guy that helps me do everything here and my wife. So I'm going to leave it there. I forgive everyone. I'm proud of everyone. I'm happy for everyone. I want everyone to do their thing. No matter if they stab me in the back or not, no matter what they did, good or bad, I forgive them as I hope that the lessons that I've given them to all of those people out there, more have done bad things, but I forgive them than good. And that's life. But I don't ever wish anything bad upon them. And the reason you say bad is because I always use this word. I will never fail you, but you will always fail me. I always use that word. It is true. I have never failed anyone. I will never fail them. Somehow, some way, they will fail me because of their need, greed, something, their want, wants. And when they don't get what they want, they disappear. And that's life. It's what I always say. God puts people in people's lives for a specific reason. And when God takes them out of your life, don't ever question him why. Let them go. Forgive them. Most important thing. Don't ever forget. Keep them at arm's distance. Always treat somebody with respect when you see them. Don't ever treat them like shit. That's the past. We move forward. We keep going. And we leave it there. This is Big Dog kicking you the real deal as always. I'm always going to leave it to you. Bada boom. Bada bang. Chicka chung. Chicka chang. And I'm out this motherfucker. What it do? Gonna tell me how you feel. Chilling with the big dog. Giving you the real deal. No lies or gimmicks. Keep it authentic. It's time to turn up. Yeah, it's time to get it. Hey.